Hi Sunday School friends, it's Mrs. Russo. I'm ready for making disciples through movement. Today we are celebrating Pentecost, which is sometimes called the birthday of the church. And here is why. Let's read a story, oh, from the Beginner's Bible. Now many of you might have this Bible at home as part of our Children's Education Ministries program at St. Patrick's. If you don't have it yet, please contact the church office though and they'll be happy to send you one because this is a great Bible for storytelling about the stories of God. We're going to go to the New Testament today, which means the stories of Jesus and Jesus' disciples. In the back of the Bible, the book of Acts chapter 2. The Holy Spirit comes. Thousands of people went to Jerusalem to celebrate a Jewish holiday called Pentecost. They came from many different countries and spoke many different languages. Jesus' disciples were staying there. They were praying together. Whoop, there. Suddenly, a noise filled the room. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. That. The Holy Spirit appeared as tongues of fire on each of them. They started talking in languages they did not know. The people in Jerusalem heard the noise and came to see what was happening. The crowd was amazed and asked, how are you able to speak our languages? Peter said, the prophets told us this would happen. Then Peter told them about God's love. God sent Jesus to save everyone. The people asked, what should we do to be saved? Peter replied, ask Jesus to forgive you from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And on that day, 3,000 people believed in Jesus and the disciples baptized all of them. See, just like we learned a couple weeks ago about baptism in the big, big river or the big bathtub. So, I would like to pretend to be the Holy Spirit. We made our streamers in craft. If you haven't gone to craft to make your streamers, pause me now and go and do craft and come back to this point. It is 3 minutes and 13 seconds. I'm going to turn this down a little so you can see me better. We're going to start, you know what, let's start with our wind because that's what happened first in the story, right? So I want you to just sit with your eyes closed for just a minute and think about what the wind does to things like leaves or branches on trees or clothes hanging out on the lines. You can't really see the wind, but we can see what the wind does. Just like the Holy Spirit. We can't see her, but we can see her work through us. I'm going to turn on our wind music. I'm going to flutter my eyes open and I want you to try to move. Sometimes when the leaves come 
up against an obstacle like a wall, they swirl like that. Yes! Okay, how about if your whole arms are the ground and your head too? Go nice and slow, nice and slow. Now we're gonna take our fire, our fire on the heads of the disciples. No, Miss Annika. Okay, we're gonna close our eyes and think about what a fire looks like. It could be a little fire, like on a birthday candle. It could be a fire in a fireplace. It could be a roaring fire at a campsite. You might even seen videos of giant fires like in the forest. But what did the fire look like? How did it move? Let's flutter our eyes open. can be like wind and fire in your life that helps push you into amazing things, help turn you away from things that are not so amazing, give you a fire in your belly that makes you want to work really, really hard for something that's going to give God glory. I wish all of you the Holy Spirit in your hearts for your whole Whole lives as you keep doing God's work and showing God's love in this world. I'll see you soon, friends.